Hey everyone, Matt here with more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, did some more adventuring in between. Uh, that outpost right here on the map, good place to, to get stuff. Um, as you can see though, we got uh, the Typhlo ruins right here behind me, but uh, first, uh, North Lome Labyrinth is in fact where you get the last barbarian equipment. The, uh, that the helm or is it the, I think it's the leg wraps it's one or the other so as you can see their defense is really low but I also haven't upgraded them figured out a way till I get the full set but uh that's not the outfit I want to focus on I want to focus on this and huh Um, wow, this, this is a luchador outfit, got a gold wrestling belt and everything. But, uh, as you can see, I'm now glowing, some interesting effects that both disguise, which I guess means I can, uh, run through enemies now without being noticed, but, uh, this is why I, I wanted to wear it. Traveler from beyond these woods, you are now faced with a trial. Find the shrine hidden in the dark ruins. Can I... Um... Hmm. That's weird. Oh, I guess maybe I need to go over here. Well... I promise this is the last filler episode before I tackle Death Mountain. Oh goodness, my health is extremely low right now. And from what I can tell, that suit apparently does not actually work the way I thought it would. So this has just been a huge letdown all around. 50, oh no, just five. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah. Might as well do that. And then. And we get a small defense boost just in case there's any enemies in there. Although, actually, yeah. Probably should have waited until I got all the way around. <laughs> Food just in case I get blindsided by these things. Any of them just popping up at any time. Luckily, none of them seem to have a bow. Razor shrooms. The back here. Aw, dumb wizard. Oh! See something else of interest over here. Yeah, 
as you can see, I have once again become very preoccupied with finding Koroks in my new time. Alright, let's maybe not drop me into the acid this time. Sad that opening a treasure chest causes more of a glow than my glow in the dark outfit. Good. Yep. 
All right, Star Fragment, he knows. <laughs> Woods, so close to it, too. I think that they'd be connected somehow. I guess he goes into attack mode just when you, whenever you're near enough a target. Okay, so they have luminous stones. Oops. take any damage. Oh, it must have been a uh, scalpel gun. Happy about that suit being completely useless to me. Well, yet all the enemies in here have been able to find it. Ah, there we go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Tree. 
things. Get as much light around here as possible. Here we go. And now we're right. Oh, okay. I'm gonna walk right into the fire. Dummy. Shoot, I really can't see anything in these parts right here. Oops. Oh well. will light up now or if it's just gonna open a shrine right here. <sighs> of course. <laughs> Can't even see it. Gotta wait for it to light up. There we go. Well, this was definitely an ordeal. Let's see, it's got to be a blessing shrine. There's no way that they'll make me do even more stuff just to earn whatever's in here. It's kind of weird that it shows all of your stat stuff on the right side. Like it's like inverse from the heart on, on the screen. Yep, it's a blessing shrine. Kento Wawa Wawa's shrine. Oh, that's disappointing. Not a whole lot I can spend those on. As you can see, my my spirit orb collection has paled in comparison to my uh, my Koroks. Speaking of, I need to go trade trade in more seeds. I need more equipment slots. Oh shoot! I was about to say, did it? Wait a minute! Did it unlight all the torches? Oh wow! Oh, that's not cool. This whole area? Are you serious? Oh, there's a bridge right there. I guess that's where I was supposed to do this from. Hmm. 
Well then. Well, I guess that concludes this episode. Uh, next episode, I'm going to figure out how to get through Death Mountain. So until then, take care, everyone.